giving the pigeons, the doves, uh, water and food. And this is something you have to do also by yourself because they know me and people don't, don't realize that all those things behind, also the small things like giving your animals uh, something to eat. You know, that, I, I believe that audience when they see the image of Hans Klok that they think that, that he lives like a prince. But uh, instead of that, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm like a carpenter. We're working here, improving new stuff giving the doves something to eat and uh, trying to make a good magic show. The new plan is we're not going to do act two, we're going to redo act one right away. What's the problem is the ventilator, that thing is not working. Yeah, I saw that. And I'm afraid to stay on it. But if I fail, you know, if now you have an accident, it's stupid, it's better to wait. But it should be fixed. She's there. I make this. The moment I jump off, lift him up. It's fun working with Hans because he has that kind of focus that, that the great magicians have had in the past and the present. The, the, the dedication to want to work 18 hour days, tireless, uh, tireless devotion to making everything perfect. And, and like other great entertainers, Hans has a, a broad view that a good magician isn't only a, a good trick, but it's the music must be perfect, and the lighting must be perfect, the costuming must work, the flow and pacing of the show must be theatrical. Um, he understands magic as theater. But in the handful of very top magicians, we're talking maybe six maybe in the world, six top class magicians and Hans Clock is one of those six and, and getting stronger all the time. I really want to become the the main the main illusionist in the at the end in the world but for a, I start in Europe. <laughs> Magic's an amazing thing, really technologically, if you can take a stick and flick it and you have fire, in a way that's real magic. Our, our, our forefathers would have considered that a you know, much more amazing trick. Today, because of technology, that doesn't amaze us anymore. But that can make us wonder, where'd that go? So that no matter how jaded we get, even though men walk on the moon, we just do a little thing that amazes us. Still works because 
because wonder is a real important emotion that is so rare today. And she looks through waves at everybody. My father, he's very creative. He, he is very good in techni making technical things, technical props. He makes it, uh, the decorations, but he also makes the illusions, some of the illusions. And he also, uh, he also runs the whole organization behind me, which is pretty big at the moment. This is the first artist name of Hans Klok, Mr. Dalati. It was because my father he traveled a lot and in Iraq he met uh, a businessman who called Mr. Dalati. So when he went back he said, I, I have a name for you, it's called Dalati. This was the first poster of uh, Hans Dalati. Only about a handful of magicians throughout history have uh, attempted to vanish an elephant. Uh, it's, a, it's a great ballet piece, you know, it sounds amazing, he's going to vanish an elephant. It was proven uh, in the past by our, uh, our forefather magicians that it was a good way to sell tickets. And traditionally, elephant vanishes have often been less exciting than the promise on the poster. Uh, there have been a handful of good ones. But this elephant vanish uh, may be the quickest uh, that's ever uh, ever been performed in the history of magic. horrible year behind me with uh, lost a lot of money and I really had something how I can manage this you know because I'm not a great businessman I trusted people and they made decisions which are not okay and I'm not blaming I'm blaming them of course but I also blame myself that I ever let them do these kind of things how many did you lose <laughs> that's the two million it's a lot if you don't have two millions that's why I'm working for right now but it's getting better and better I have enough work, but it's hard. It's a hard time when you when you're in that in this losing money thing. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, you ugly bastard. Good morning. Good afternoon. It's like wishing the army. It's like it's like an army off to battle. Yeah. It's interesting, a lot of these people have never ever toured, so it's a, there's excitement and uh, anxiety, both. A week from now they'll be old hands. And there's 18 of us guys on the road. 18. 18 of our fast technicians, that's including uh, um, uh, the wardrobe and production people and crew, laser, sound light, uh, explosions, uh, the whole rigmarole. So 18, 20 locals, that's 38. God knows how many people are floating around as well, busy for us. Before you know it, you know, you've got 
30 or 40 people. Okay, Buba. Come on. Buba, go. Come. Come. Go. Come on. Buba, go. He'll never forget. She'll never forget. <laughs> Here's an interesting fact. Uh, an elephant that size consumes 250 pounds of food a day, and only 150 comes out the other end. That's a magic trick. foie gras before the show. Uh, 20 minutes to uh, showtime, and it all comes down to this. We have a star who will not make any mistakes, uh, but he is dependent on the following. About 200 audio cues, including the samples, uh, close to 200 lighting cues that all have to be hit on time. Then we have about 15 crew members that have to get each prop and each curtain at exactly the right place at the right time. Yes. And uh, plus an elephant. And then we hope the good people of Hamburg have uh, seen fit to favor us by purchasing a ticket or two. And if all that comes together, we will have a successful opening. Yeah, my, Gary, I haven't got a key yet to getting the girls in from the back. Okay, it's being we still have six minutes, so we like it's exactly okay. 30, uh, 30 now because I'm yeah. late. So. Good luck. Hmm? Good luck, huh? <laughs>
is mine now. Goodbye, Mr. Clark. <laughs> Dankeschön, Dankeschön. Super. Jetzt muss ich aber für eine Freundin, Diana, heißen. Ah, Geburtstag. Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday to you. We have survived. Opening night. Fantastic. This is the man that builds all those illusions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are in, and yes. now I regret not having studied German, but yes. luckily our company manager is a distinguished linguist. You don't, you don't, give me the, you don't speak the, German. You're going to give us the good and bad news. Yeah. The good and the bad news. Any bad okay. news? The bad news is that Mr. M Müller died. Yeah, okay. For Hans <laughs> yeah. Oh, for Hans Klock, you mean. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, they're very good. It says, M magician Hans Klock with spectacular show in the opera. A, Dutch, a Dutchman um, 
verzaubert Hamburg. Me mesmerized? Mesmerized Hamburg. Ah. Uh, he is fast and the girls are sexy and they all disappear into nothing. There you go. The girls are fast and sexy and they don't last. So it's good. Nothing yeah, bad. Nothing bad. No, Everything not, good. There's no butts? No, no nothing. No, not this time. We love Hamburg. Like this. We love Hamburg. <laughs> yeah, Hamburg. Let's, yeah, let's, go, let's come back to Hamburg. <laughs> okay, thanks. We'll come back. <laughs> And um, I'll see you at the venue tonight. Have a nice trip. First day, I had feelings like around him, just like sunshine, you know. Just like he has this kind of hour. I think he's a great person. I think he's special. You I like love it. him. I love him. <laughs> yeah, I'm in love with him. <laughs> okay. Let's say physically, what ask most physically and ask most concentration, I will say. Hologram, you know that uh, this rose. We have this shadow with the hands. That's from. It's quite serious. And I think after that, it's fire dome and Rakota chair. You know this plastic glass with fire and then this parent chair. Because these three things, it's it's very fast, and also you have to be very cool inside. You know when you do it because it's very tiny everything, with timing, with speed. So it asks a lot, actually. And if these three stuff going good in the show, then for my feelings it's like, show was good, you know? Because it's important.
same how distance, far, how far yeah, we how go. Far. But we speak in, in videos. How many so, videos? Yeah. So how many videos today? Uh, usually yeah, well, about two, two and a half. <laughs> two, two, two videos. videos. You know, that's four and a half. I don't know, how long is it four. tomorrow? Probably three videos. About yeah. two, <laughs> videos. two videos. Two or three. Yeah. Today we had uh, in total probably three <laughs> three videos. I always sleep whenever I watch the videos. I didn't watch one, so that was good. You have a grand Goodbye, baby! Come on, the camera. Did you say he's the fattest one? Yeah, you are. Thank you, mate. It's okay though, we love you. That is until we have it for dinner tomorrow. Yeah, we, when we get hungry, we eat them. Yes. Happy birthday! The sound guy. The sound guy. We don't know what he had. He's had an accident a little. Claire, do you know what's going on? Uh, well, one of the most important technicians is to the, into the hospital. There's something with his rib, I think. He was falling down and now it's very hurt and he's go to the hospital. And now we have a delay with the show with, uh, I think, 10 minutes. The audience know it. It's a pity, but the show must go on. You know that. Are the people okay, Matthias? Are they okay? Yeah, you understand?
New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your king. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So you want to know why they are here? Sometimes the guys um, need some alcohol to just fall asleep. They are they're working the whole time, so uh, they are pretty much um, um, high ventilated. And as they need their sleep, we don't do this every day. I mean, it's not an al alcoholic trip, but uh, they need this a lot of time. So. Uh, to, to fall asleep, just to be able to sleep because they know they work the next day and so they drink like two or three zips and then they just feel a little bit um, um, sleep coming up and then they fall asleep. It's the easier way for them. I said it's a hard job as a, as a crew member. It's tough. I know a girl, she was on the road with for 15 years with Diana Ross and she said she hardly talked to us. Yeah. This singer, she lives now in Holland, she said she was so bad to everybody yeah. and I think that's not the way to do it. But I know that I treat people well yeah, okay. everybody and knows I do don't uh, uh, make any extra for that. But Matthias, I'm sorry, it's getting better. But the first two months, he was acting like Christina F., you know, on the rapper band <laughs> with his drink. When I was to toilet, I found many times blood, blood on paper in the toilet because I think he used a nail or whatever. Yeah. No, not anymore, maybe, but he... No, I would have seen it on his arms or legs or whatever. But be honest, Marcos, you wasn't there when we rehearsed. He came four hours too late on a rehearse. Everybody was waiting. It costed me so much money to rehearse a week in Offenbach. And he just come four hours too late. If you do this by a Copperfield or whatever, you're out the same day. Stay! Stay! I said stay! Come here. Come here. Move around. Okay, let's go. Where to? Nah, to the bar. Oh, okay. A little bit up and too low. This is tour management. Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah, dark hair, so you couldn't see, he was like searching. 
Perhaps Marcus will <laughs> talk tomorrow with everybody about the money for the Christmas. Oh, 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 Oh. Uh, Marcus, we all come go on. To, we all go to bed now. But uh, uh, what, what's the what's the deal tomorrow? Are we we going by train, eh? Isn't it? Oh hell, <laughs> horrible! And you have the ticket? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. See you tomorrow. 6.30 downstairs, the train leaves 10 bus. What's the story with the bus then? There's no bus. Slaap lekker. Ja, maar kruisten. Ja, maar kruisten dan. Oké, als je alles vertelt, vertel ik dat jij moet Ja, ik ga even. Good night. Good night. It's pretty early today. That's that's show business. Sleep late, get up early. It will be fine tonight because uh, I will receive an award. I don't know what kind of award, but a lot of rock stars. So that's nice. Expect a nice evening and a good performances. But I'm not so sure about ballets. I like it in this way, but there's so much money always. music, Andrea Bocelli, uh, Udo Lindenberg, I believe that's, that's, a, that's a famous uh, German singer or whatever, Aha, they call me Anastasia, <laughs> Anastasia, she's, she's really big at night. Yeah. Es ist ein bisschen wie Rockstars, es sind mehrere, äh, ja, dann, geht, dann mache ich euch nur mit einer Hände. Das ist nicht sehr schwierig. Kann man
Charles made a big mistake with the tickets because we stop every 10 minutes so we never will make it. We never will make it before 8 o'clock. magician myself for 33 years now and well I met Hans on magic uh, magic club and I saw him walking in with this little magic box under his arms as a boy of 12 years old and well then it's great 20 years later to see him being one of the, the greatest magicians from Europe and having such a great great show I think it's the biggest biggest magical show in Europe uh, I can't. I don't know any magician in, in Europe who doing a show with, with three trailers full of, of uh, illusions and technical stuff. I really think this this is one of the greatest traveling magic shows in Europe. I asked for an
On the night liner. On the night liner. Yeah, right. I can imagine liner. this is for your mum. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, a. Yeah. Um, oh, the camera can't see that one. Excuse me. <laughs> um, your nipples are and and oh. God. Three and a half months out here, one night stands with this this magic show. It's pretty heavy. It's just a unit tour yeah. because yeah. nobody in the world for the magic show do a rock and roll tour like no. this. It's unique. No. We will laugh about this in two years. Yeah. Say, oh, do you know the times? Do you remember those times? Yeah, I think we've all learned a lot together. I mean, it's um, it's magic. It's amazing what you can do with a bit of. Focus, focus, where's the focus there? And a bit of lights there, and a bit of things, a bit of manipulation there. It's like, it's a piece of cake in the end. When the show starts, nobody's got a problem with it. It's been a problem putting the grid up and the curtains and space and the illusions in and taking them to pieces, building them again. And then when the show happens, it kind of like, just like an organism, it just like, boom. You go home, Hans? Yes, I go home. Where's home? Near Osnabrück. Oh. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Heinz all man. Only Heinz. I really enjoy it. Uh, the, 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 the German tour and traveling every day for nine hours and we were talking about how many movies we have to watch <laughs> each day. And, and I want, want to thank everybody about this. This and we have a special presser. It's a collector's item because there are just 30 of these t shirts in the world. It's, it's not really special, but there's a, there's a small line on it which is really uh, from my heart to you, to everybody. And I want to thank everybody and <coughs> hope uh, to see you soon, wherever in the world. <laughs> Vielen Dank. Raus. Raus. Raus.